Kiko and I have our backpacks on and we're so excited. Um, we are doing about a 37 mile loop in the Gila National Forest. So can you see it? Yeah, that is a big smile on my face because I'm just so happy to be backpacking again. We are starting off strong for the first five minutes. We had a river crossing down that way and then we're immediately crossing again. Yes, I am working barefoot because I have another river crossing coming up. Kiko! Kiko! Yeah, happy boy! Don't worry friends, uh, we're only half a mile in and lost, but it's fine. The trail is really hard to follow. Thank God I have a GPS. Yeah, I don't know where this trail is. I think it's there. I think we're back at it. <laughs> Who knows though? Here it is. Don't know, don't know what happened. But we're back and I'm just too happy to even care. Kiko, hi Kiko, good boy. I'm gonna have trouble keeping this video short because this trail is so beautiful. He said my feet are wet because we crossed the Rose Burr about a hundred million times and I've just decided I'm just walking through it because I don't care. Wow. Look at that there. Wow. So I believe that Right in there is a little cliff, cliff dwelling. How cool is that? Here for the hundredth million river crossing, I have given up. Woohoo, this is sandy. <laughs> you guys just go. Ooh. River crossing number 500 million. Lunch number one for Kiko and I. Mm. Kiko, how's your resting? Oh, good boy. Cool lunch spot. So I have been solo backpacking before, but this is gonna be the first night that I ever have by myself in the tent and no other tents around. Just me and Kiko. <laughs> Easy to stand. And I have me. my new Gossamer gear tent. It's not the best setup today because uh, I was lazy and it's not gonna rain. Um, but yeah, and we're near a river. So I was lazy with my meals this trip and today I have Mountain House Adventure Meals Mexican Style Adobo Rice and Chicken. It's really yummy. It is night one in my Gossamer Gear, the two tent, first time I'm using it. This tent is so roomy, way roomier than my tarp tent that I had. Um, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a good night. There's Kiko next to me. I'm in my puff and I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. That's my guard dog right there. Watching all around for mom, making sure she's all safe. Yeah, Kiko, good boy. 
Anyone else get freaked out when like dogs look at things intently and you look and there's nothing there and you're like, do they see a ghost? What's going on? Yeah, that's how I feel whenever Kiko looks at something. I'm like, ah. Making some oatmeal for breakfast. It is my trail breakfast every single It is day two. My socks are wet still, which I'm not surprised about. And um, I don't want to put them on because it's kind of cold. As you can see, kind of, the skies are a little gray. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't rain on us today. But we are starting day two off strong with a nice river cross. And here we are. Hell's Hole Cave. Interesting. I just twisted my ankle really bad. Um, yeah, this is probably the worst I've had in a while. So hopefully I'm okay. Also, I just heard a bear track, so that's cool. Actually, it might not be a bear, it might be a mountain lion. Still cool. So I made it a goal to do 10 miles before noon so that I could have a beautiful lunch spot. And I did it. Um, let me show you. I swear, this is the hardest trail to follow that I've ever been on. Hmm. Hi, buddy. What do you think of all this? <laughs> oh, ow. Yep, this is the trail. As you can see, I'm in a hot spring. Kiko Man and I decided to do 19 miles today so that we could make it out to this beautiful hot spring that we have all to ourselves. <sighs> hey, Kiko. Kiko, we're trying to enjoy the hot spring. Yes. Buddy. I have an awesome campsite. It's right near a hot spring and it also has a really cool view. I'll show you. 
This was worth hiking 19 miles for. I'm kind of sad this backpacking trip is almost over. I can't wait to come out again. I forgot how much I love backpacking. Hakiko. He's playing with a stick. Hi, buddy. Oh, here we are. Night two, and it's actually gonna end up being our final night since we did 19 miles today. Crazy. So tomorrow's our last day. This has been amazing, and I can't wait to come back back again. It's so cold this morning that my socks from yesterday, yeah, they're frozen a little bit. Thankfully, it's my last day. I'm going to wear my sleep socks. The backpacking portion of my trip is done, and now me and my water, no Kiko, he's sleeping in the van, um, are doing the one mile loop to go see the Helix Cliff Dwellings. Should be a good end to the trip. Oh wow. Wow. They let you walk pretty much right up to these. This is just so cool.